21-year-old Jerome McLaren spent the last moments of his life sitting on this scooter, laughing and talking with family and friends. McLaren had just finished playing basketball and decided to chill for a bit when he was approached by a lone gunman who fired several shots in his direction. McLaren's mother, Sharon Cookham, didn't see her son murdered, but she did see the suspected shooter leave the crime scene. It's a memory, she says, she will not soon forget. I made a sit down right here so last night with part day. Um, you hear vehicle pass up and down every minute, and one side go come and um, stop right by with a lamppost there, walking at this yard, and I hear gunshots, so I just throw myself back away, and after that, I just say, my guy jump up for say that who get shot. When I look, I say, well, man, I never see face or nothing. I just see a silver gun and push it in, I said, and walk out of the yard. And I run to that direction and I say, you shot my son. You kill my son. You kill my son. And I run to my son and I just start to pray. On top of my son, when I reach him, my son, blood they come out, they, they like a hump cross the cycle when they there, and blood just the gash out time out and he the cap for bread. And I said, Jerome, ask God for forgiveness, Jerome. Ask God for forgiveness. Repent, Jerome. Ask God for forgive you. And that why they said to Jerome and him out, they go like. And I tell her every minute, I repeat that, I repeat that, I repeat that to him. I just see her about the structure. I never see face. And um, it jump a cycle, try start the cycle. Like the three times that I had like, you shot my son, the cycle couldn't start. And the last time I had like, you kill my son, and then the cycle start and it ride off. Hours later, many are trying to figure out a motive for this gruesome murder. Jerome's mother told Love News that she is clueless as to why someone would have wanted her son dead. Jerome, that be like, it a happily boy like run joke but can't take joke. Um, it like Jerome help me, Jerome, that mean my breadwinner. Jerome get a job, Jerome come and Jerome and say, ha mommy, as he walk in at the door, he put a hand in his back pocket, haul out the wallet and say, ha mommy, if I know yeah, he tell his sister then give mommy this when mommy come. And Jerome, every pay day for Jerome, young Jerome, sell tablet for me, go for a bike, sell tablet, come back, give me all the money, wait for leave, 50 cents shilling. Jerome, buy all the bread and sister in school, bag for school, for make them go back to school. And just why, like, you know, Jerome, that me my, 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 my pa. Should we say, you know? Because he take care of the house, he go buy for me. Man, Jerome, as I say, had a little weight, but that me still a lot of love, you know? And I want to miss Jerome and I love Jerome. Jerome was the breadwinner of his family. And while the killer has taken so much from the family, Kokom says she has already forgiven the murderer and would just want to send a message of love for him. To the person who do it, I don't know who uno, but God know who uno. And I just want to know that I forgive uno. Me, Sharon Kokom, the mother of Jerome McLaren, forgive you. You take away my son for me, so now you will be my son. I will take it be my business for every day I get up, every morning, afternoon, noon. I will pray for you for make God take you as a child and you surrender your life and your heart to God. If they find you, I will come visit you to prison. You will be my Jerome McLaren where you take away from me. I will lead you to Jesus Christ. And for all of my out there, we have one son we gone by gun, gun, gun violence. When you just stay strong, have faith, right? And trust in a God, cause God that love. And I love this person. Although I don't know, I don't see face, I love you, you the my Jerome, you just remember that. Investigators reached the crime scene just after 8 o'clock last night. By 9.30, McLaren was pronounced dead. Police say that while McLaren has had a few brushes with the law, he was not suspected of being involved in any major criminal activities. We spoke to different persons that were there and also family members to inquire from them if at any time Mr. McLaren had been threatened or anything that he had gone through with anybody for the past days or maybe the past year, but up to now we cannot give you a definite motive as to why he was shot. I know that at this moment, um, police are in the area canvassing to see what other additional information we can get. 
Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.